is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we do have some brand new not only wwe action figure news but also some brand new aew action figure news so we got a lot of stuff going on today guys can't wait to dive into it some of this news does come to us from my man unstable 1047 while he is no longer really active on youtube fully he is still helping us out with the news and the insider deal so that is excellent for us and i do miss unstable 1047 content i will tell you but today we got some excellent stuff going on can't wait to get into it we got a new elite set we got some basics we got some stuff and we have some new images leaked out to us as well as a huge announcement that i'll get into from ringside possibly featuring a new ringside exclusive so let's go ahead shut the hell up and dive into what we got to get into let's just go ahead and start out with the ringside exclusive announcement ladies and gentlemen this is going to be an aew figure announcement so let's go ahead and put it up yesterday on ringside collectibles on their instagram page they teased this like jurassic park kind of deal where it's like a trailer you guys know the iconic scene from Jurassic Park where the water's like shaking and the kids chilling right there watching the water and then you, you get the whole idea with the Jurassic thing so then it's a video it's a vignette it plays through and at the end of the vignette you get this Wednesday 428 and the W the E and the A in Wednesday is in green telling us that you know W E A flipped it around AEW we are going to get a new ringside exclusive coming to us on Wednesday. I'm guessing that tomorrow they're going to unveil it. I will definitely cover it here on the channel because it looks like we're going to be getting something Jurassic Express related. So you guys know that we have the jungle... Uh, not the jungle, but the Jurassic Park deal going on. Uh, Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy were revealed for series number five, but I don't think that's what it is, man. I think this is going to be two new figures, maybe a possible three pack with Marco Stunt. I think that would be absolutely insane. And I did hear that, like, overseas, I heard something about a white Luchasaurus figure as well as a Jungle Boy, except the Luchasaurus has a straight face and the Jungle Boy is yelling. So it'd be the opposite of the series five figures that we saw. So if all those rumors are true, it looks looks like it lines up correctly with the ringside collectibles exclusive there and it looks like we are going to be getting I, I i'm guessing this is what my guess is i bet we get luchasaurus with the straight face kind of what jungle boy is doing in the series 5 figure he's going to be in his white gear and we're going to get like new sculpt for the head and everything we'll get a jungle boy that will be probably in similar gear to a series 5 figure maybe a little bit different but he'll be yelling uh, you know, or screaming, and then we'll get possibly a Marco stunt. Now, I don't know about the Marco stunt for sure, but I do think that the two-pack is something that we're going to see, much like we got with the Blood Brothers from the AEW ringside exclusive two-pack that we saw. So, that is excellent news. I can't wait to see what they fully look like, but you guys know that I am hyped. A Luchasaurus, like, yeah, you know, I thought Series 5 Luchasaurus was going to be the best AEW figure ever, and then they come out and give me a white gear Luchasaurus? That's just like, you know, like spicing it up with a little MDT flavor over the top there so i will absolutely pick up a few of those can't wait to see what they look like you know if that's correct i hope that's the deal we'll just have to see but that is one of the big announcements there we also have another little bit of news here now it's not like a ton of news but it is aew figure related you guys know that we did get the ray phoenix mock image with the prototypes a couple weeks ago or whatever the case we showcased it on the channel then we got the loose images but we also now have a mock image of pentagon in his black and gold gear looking pretty damn good good i think it looks pretty good the gold on this figure is insane man i don't know what gold foil or whatever the hell they do to put it on their packaging and then the gold on this figure looks outstanding like it, the shine of this and the shimmer of this looks absolutely insane so pentagon looks really really good not only do we have pentagon but we also have jake hager with his hood up in the black there so i'm guessing that the one in black right here is going to be the regular version like we discussed you know we kind of figured that that would be the case the black trunks with the black hoodie shirt would be the regular version and then we're guessing that the you know of course the the camo pants or the whatever with the the inner circle t-shirt will most likely be the chase and it looks like that is confirmed here because we don't get a sticker it looks like the number on the bottom of the packaging isn't going to be exclusive or you know anything crazy or different so it does look like jake hager in the black gear will be the regular version but i thought that pentagon and jake hager both looked really good in their mock images there especially the penta man that's insane that gold is absolutely crazy how like glittery and like shiny it is it reminds me a lot of the series 5 chase cody rhodes figure 
or the Series 4, I'm sorry, that looks so damn good. So the gold that they put on these figures is crazy. Hopefully, you know, any other gold we get will be as nice as that. But that's not all we have, guys. We also have some other WWE action figure news. So let's go ahead and dive into that, guys. Let's get into WWE Elite Series 89. Now, we've discussed 86, 87, 88 here on the channel. Today, we're discussing Elite 89 revealed to us. And the first figure in Elite 89 is going to be Drew McIntyre. Now, this doesn't really excite a lot of people, I don't think. You know, he's kind of the modern-day John Cena, Roman Reigns type. You know, they got to pump him out. They got to get him out on the shelf. So I think Drew McIntyre getting a figure, he'll probably come with the WWE Championship. Uh, it's kind of hard because you guys know that we are getting the top picks 2022 figure in the set with what Roman Reigns, John Cena, and Rey Mysterio. This one will probably be very similar to that. Like I would, I would pretty much guarantee it may not be the exact gear. They'll probably change the gear up a little bit, but having that pissed off head sculpt in the updated, you know, darker Drew McIntyre skin tone that they give him that I like a lot better that we first got with the Elite 83. Probably what we'll get here for Drew McIntyre. We also have Bobby Lashley in this set. Now, a lot of people are probably thinking that it'd probably be a WWE Championship attire, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be a little bit before that. I think we're probably going to be getting a Long Tights Hurt Business attire, and I think he'll probably come with the U.S. Championship. We do know that we're getting Apollo Crews with the U.S. Championship, so you know they're going to try to get that U.S. Championship out as much as possible so that everybody has an opportunity to get that in their collections and update their shelves and stuff like that. So I think Bobby Lashley will most definitely be in the long tights with the black, the Hurt Business on there, maybe a pissed off head sculpt or like a, you know, like a pissed off Bobby Lashley or like a groaning head sculpt would be really badass for him. So that with the U.S. Championship would look really good on an elite figure. We also have Dominic Mysterio. Now, I don't really care for a Dominic figure. I know that's going to be excellent for father-son. Like, I can't imagine having, you know, epic figures of me and then JoJo growing up, becoming a wrestler and getting his own action figure. So I think that's a really cool thing to see. However, Dominic Mysterio... Uh, we don't know what gear it'll be. You know, it could be a whole lot of gears. I just hope that it looks good and stuff like that. Not the biggest Dominic fan, but I do, you know, it is pretty cool to see him getting this opportunity here with the Elite 89 figure. And hopefully his figure turns out great. Maybe customs down the line or do something like that. And hopefully the figure just looks really good. Next up in the set, guys, we also have Nia Jax. Now, the only thing that I'll say about Nia Jax is that, uh, you know, it's like, eh, I don't know about that one, Brad. You know, I, I don't know how I feel about this one. She is also the Chase variant, so I don't know how you guys feel about that one. Of course, our Elite 65 figure was really good. The head sculpts were outstanding, like some of the best head sculpts we've seen on a female figure. I think the Nia Jax figure was pretty solid. It kind of had like bowed-legged knees. However, it was still a pretty good figure, and seeing that updated and seeing what else they can come up with, giving her double-jointed arms and legs and stuff, that Nia Jax is probably going to be able to crush her other one and like suplex it out the hell out the ring, and so that'll be pretty cool to see how well they make that and you know what attires we get and stuff. Don't really care for it to be the chase though. I think that you know Bobby Lashley or Dominic probably would have been a cooler one or the one we're going to talk about uh, here in a few moments but we also have Sergeant Slaughter. Now this one for Sergeant Slaughter we did know that we would be getting a Sergeant Slaughter simply because I mean good god we're getting Colonel Mustafa so it's going to match the Colonel Mustafa you know with the, the Iron Sheik figure and we already saw what this figure looks like from Elite 86. It is the collector's edition so this just makes a lot of sense to me. I feel like it you know that's kind of a ways away I feel like, you know, with Elite 86 to 89, that's a little bit, but I guess it's not the biggest deal. Uh, but as far as retail is concerned, it probably will be a little bit before you can put both of those side by side in your collection. But that one will probably be worth the wait because that's one of those holes you'd like to fill. And you got Sergeant Slaughter coming in there, and we know what he's going to look like. So Sergeant Slaughter should be pretty decent. And then the last figure that is not featured on the graphic and it's not included in the listing is going to be Damian Priest. So Damian Priest is getting an Elite figure this Custom was made by Angel or Angelo, you know, the one that makes the G Natty figures or the figures for G Natty, G Natty's figures. The MDT custom, he is a really good customizer, so the white gear for him looks fantastic. Even the purple gear, this is why I think that he should have been, or the pink gear, whatever you want to say, I think this is why he takes variant. So many cool attires you could have done, and I just hope it's not the black pants attire. I hope it's the white gear where he took on Finn Balor. That would be absolutely sick. And Damian Priest, while I'm not the biggest fan of him, I think that he makes for a really good figure. Like, as an action figure, he'll look pretty damn cool. So that will be excellent to see for him. And we'll see what comes of that with Elite 89 Damian Priest. But uh, overall thoughts on the set, guys, you guys can let me know. I think it's cool that we're going to get, you know, seeing somebody new like Dominic 
and then Damian Priest is pretty cool, but the rest of the set is kind of eh. You know, Drew McIntyre, kind of boring figures. Bobby Lashley is okay. I feel like his first figure was kind of expensive, so seeing him get re-released will be nice. Nia Jax, you know, I, I mean, you got to put, you know, an updated women's figure, so I understand that she's one of those that doesn't have the double-jointed knees just yet, so I get it. It's just kind of like bleh, and then, yeah. So there's Elite 89. We also have a look at Basic Series 125. Now, I'm just going to run through these. I don't think we need to really dive too much into it. Just hopefully... You know, the Jeff Hardy in the set will have a new face paint or a good head sculpt. The Isaiah Swerve Scott, hopefully he'll also have a really good head sculpt, convert it to an elite. Maybe we can use some surgery or something, make a cool Isaiah Swerve Scott. I still have not tracked down some of those basic guys that were missing, you know, the first time in the lines, things like that. And then, uh, you know, you got Daniel Bryan, Jeff Hardy, Elias, Ember Moon. Ember Moon hasn't had a figure in forever, so it's really nice to see that. Too bad it will be a basic. Elias, I don't really know what else you can do with that one. It'll probably be a repeat. And then, again, Daniel Bryan, I don't know how... You know, if it'll be a re-release head sculpt or if it'll be a new sculpt, hopefully if it is new, it will be good. And then Jeff Hardy, again, face paint. Just give this something good, man. Just give me something good there for Jeff Hardy for fix-up. And then last but not least, guys, we do have Battle Pack Championship Showdown 7. Now, these are interesting. We're going to get Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kane, and then Charlotte versus Rhea. So I'm hoping that the Charlotte versus Rhea... I'm hoping that it's from WrestleMania, so we get the Vegeta-inspired gear for Rhea Ripley. I think that would be super badass. We also have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kane. I'm guessing it's probably going to be from the Royal Rumble or something. It'll probably have, you know, the Kane, you know, that new basic Kane that we're getting. It'll probably be that head sculpt in a battle pack. We'll probably get, you know, the Royal Rumble Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin in basic form with the new head sculpt. And then Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, probably a bald Strowman head sculpt. And Roman Reigns will have, you know, his deal that he always has with the head and the stuff. And it'll probably be winning won the you know, the Universal Championship against the Fiend and Braun or whatever that was. So that should be very interesting indeed. But that does it for your Battle Pack Championship Showdown 7. And I think that's all the news. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. What do you think of the ringside exclusive, uh, you know, Luchasaurus and stuff that we're probably going to be getting tomorrow? I will cover that on the channel, so definitely stay tuned for it. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to Khalil Cannon, who says, William Regal is so underrated, sad face. They need to make more elite Regals. And I agree, man man like why haven't we gotten an nxt suited regal i think we were supposed to but it got canceled or something uh there's just so many different regals we could get even like one from the elite eight just re-release it down the line like give them the intercontinental championship or something and like re-release it i think that would be absolutely epic or something they could they could just do so many great things so hopefully they do end up giving us some more regals i mean while he's in the company man you might as well release some damn regals but that pretty much does it for today's video and all the news guys let me know what you think of all of it down in the comment section below but i'm getting out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video and don't cross the line you cross the line i've been beaten broken down